What is a load-bearing wall? It would be any wall in a building that supports another part of the structure. That's it in its simplicity. Now let's take a look at an example here, see if I can make it a little more clearer. There is the same wall you're looking at, and you can see that if it was removed, that uh, I would imagine a part of the building would actually just fall down. Now the wall is supporting a section of the second floor. You know, like I said, any section of the building that is supported by a wall is going to be a load-bearing wall and realistically cannot be removed. And if it is going to be modified in any way, you will need to contact a structural engineer to do so. Now in a two-story home, the load-bearing wall on the first floor can actually be supporting a lot more than just the first floor. For example, here it is also um, supporting the weight of the second floor wall plus the roof. Any section of the roof weight that gets transferred down to this wall um, is going to be supported by the bottom wall. And of course all of that weight transfers down to the foundation. And you can see right here it looks like we have about a 12 inch wide by 12 inch deep footing um, and that is going to be used to help support the um, that particular load bearing wall. Now here's the same foundation you can see right there there are other footings that will be supporting other um, load bearing walls and sections of the house and there's the concrete slab finished or I should I say almost finished it uh, shouldn't be that rough gonna be a little smoother than that come on so that's a basic breakdown of what a load bearing wall does which takes us back to our original wall there it needs to be in place um, and of course now by now you should understand the reasons why and uh, even the door header needs to be a specific size to make sure that it is strong enough to, to support the weight and transfer the weight around the door. Um, if you put in a 4x4 here, it might not be strong enough. And of course, you can always go bigger, but you cannot go smaller.